All right, my beautiful friends, it is Thursday, March 21st, 2019. Let's start at the beginning. It's always best to do that. Um, as I am doing this video blog, stocks are higher across the board. Not by much, but higher nonetheless. Uh, however, stocks did start the day in the negative. Again, not by much, but in the negative and I think this is taking a lot of people by surprise look we now exist in a debt fueled funhouse uh, there's no other way to put it and this this funhouse is going to turn into a freaking nightmare because the debt market is a time bomb it's a time freaking bomb uh, and I know I'm kind of making a joke about it, but it is. It's an actual time bomb waiting to go off. Uh, I, I think you get it if you follow this blog. I mean, just look at what's going on even just today uh, in, in the bond market. Rates are continuing to be suppressed. The environment we are in is very simple to know how to capitalize on. And this morning, early on, five minutes into trading, I said, Lions, uh, don't. Don't get involved in trying to uh, trade an index here, either long or short. Just let this ride out. Um, there's going to be a lot of gyration here in the market after the Fed announcement. It has to balance out a little bit first. It has to become more real or fake, depending on your perspective, uh, although they're both one and the same in this environment. So for me... I'm not doing anything now. I am still maintaining a neutral posture on this market. I am in cash. I will only strike at this market from a trading standpoint when the odds are in my favor that I'm going to be correct. And there is no doubt in my mind, uh, and it shouldn't be yours either, that the extreme fakery in this market will continue. All the pawns are in place. Um, and a lot of this boils down to six Wall Street banks, the same ones that run the Fed, that are backstopping this market. And, and the environment as a whole, where are traders, where are investors going to put cash in this environment? Again, notice how I keep saying in this environment, you always have to focus on that in this environment, in this environment, in this environment, period. In this environment, with rates being suppressed beyond the point where I think anyone would have ever imagined, a Federal Reserve who has now already promised that there will be no rate hikes for this entire year. All right? They were supposed to be data dependent. No, no, they're not data dependent anymore. They're off the table. No rate hikes for the year. That says something to me, and it should say something to you. And you, it should not only say something to you, but it should make it as clear as crystal that it's a game. I can't say this enough. Um, and the stock market's disconnection from reality, the reality of the economy... Uh, is going to get worse, much worse, before it gets better. And again, in this environment, this is an election cycle. Stocks will be propped up by any and all mechanisms that you can't even dream about. You couldn't even dream about. You have to believe me on this. Um, it should, again, push home the point that this is not real. Again, it's a debt-fueled freaking fun house that's going to end in a nightmare for the middle class. Until now, until that point, it's going to be very hard to get short this market for any long period of time. Believe me, if I see an opportunity there, I, I will, I'll jump on it. But for now, we... We need to sit back and watch. You do not have to be in this market every day. As you can see, I'm not in this market every day. I only look for the best opportunities 
to get in here. Um, you can't always have money working. Sometimes money working means it's not in the market. You understand? Very simple. Um, you have to adopt the mentality of waiting for the right time to strike. Now, it's pretty simple again to understand a few things. Being that we know for a fact, I mean, this is not speculation anymore, there will be no rate hikes for the entire year. How does the Fed keep rates low? If you've been with me since time immemorial, because that's how long it seems, you know exactly what they do. The Fed can't say it. They don't have magical powers to do that. They have to get into the market and make it happen. 99% of the people have no idea of what I just said. And that puts you in a, in, a, in a whole different class than most people. The Fed has to get into the market. They have to get cash printed out of thin air, buy the debt that suppresses rates. That's it. There's no magic to it. Um, being that we know that this is going to happen, it's going to create an environment of risk. It's a deliberate act. It's a deliberate act, meaning environment of risk, cash moves into equities. Cash moves into equities. More cash moves into equities until it doesn't. Now, for the big tell, and I've talked about this so many times, and why I stress, overstress, I think more than anybody else, period, is the importance of watching the bond market watching the 10-year yield more specifically. Right now, it's like 2.51. It's going to continue to fall. I mean, I'm not saying that it's going not, not going to go 2.53, 2.54, maybe even 2.60. It's going to, the trend is lower. Same thing for the third year or the longer end of the curve. The Most of the curve right now is inverted. You all know that. So, the big tell here, when all of this is going to correct fair value, is understanding where it's going to start first. It's going to start first in the bond market. The bond market, the debt market, is the mechanism by which the Federal Reserve all world central banks are rigging their markets. The debt market is the largest aspect of the financial markets, period, period, the end. That's why wherever it goes, every, everything else follows. You understand? Very simple concepts. Now, the reason why the debt market is in a time bomb phase at this point here is, and, and again, this is not just Gregory Manorino saying this, although, I said it first. I said this, what I'm going to tell you, before Jeffrey Gunlock came out and say, said it, before Alan Greenspan came out and said it, and a lot of other people. We got all this cash now moving into the debt market. Rates are being suppressed, suppressed, suppressed. The yield curve is inverting, 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 inverting. It's already mostly inverted. There's going to be a moment where investors say, I'm done. Why am I holding a unit of debt that is yielding me nothing, that is guaranteeing me losses? It's not going to go on forever. There's going to be a massive exodus out of the debt market and yields are going to spike very rapidly. When we see that, we know um, it's ground zero for the stock market. Ground zero when we get that spike. Now, that's when the fun house will turn into a nightmare. Yields are going to spike rapidly at one point. Why? People are going to dump the debt. No one wants to be the last person out the door. It's pretty simple. And that's going to put a lot of pressure on the stock market. So again, it all boils down to what I've been explaining, again, since time immemorial. Rapid sell-off in, in the bond market. First, rapid sell-off in the stock market. All the cash is going to simply be transferred or moved into other things, into uh, the pockets of very few that know how to, how to capitalize on this. And the middle class is going to be evaporated, eliminated, decapitated, and will no longer exist. It's very simple. Very, very simple. Anyway, um, I think this video has been important. If you would agree, 
If you do agree, please share it. If you don't agree, well, that's okay too. I still love you. I love all of you. And I'll see you at the end of the day.